Hello everyone, and welcome to our weather update on the 27th of May, 2024. So today was sort of a cloudy day with um, some showers, especially there in the Midlands and in the north. Now tonight we'll see a system pushing in from the Atlantic Ocean that is a warm front, and it will bring um, rain into Munster, let's say between about 9pm and midnight, and it will transfer into Leinster and Connex i say between about midnight and 4 a.m. before it before it affects Ulster between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m. By that point, still some patchy rain in Ulster, but elsewhere it's cloudy, misty, murky in the warm sector there. So um, quite a mild start as well. Uh, also some drizzle around. Now into the uh, late morning and early afternoon, we see we see the sun coming out and also a lot of convection. So some downpours break out. Especially in the um, southeast, east, and northeast, and also parts of the Midlands there. Uh, so possibly big, some possibly big downpours in parts, especially in uh, East Ulster and East Leinster. Those tomorrow, those two areas are the main focus of um, some possibly heavy and thundery showers. Even um, we have warm air on the surface, uh, also strong sunshine, a lot of convection moisture, and a um, bit of cooler aloft as well. Just convection, convection, convection. Into uh, the evening hours, we see cloud rolling in again from the west around the area of low pressure to our north. Again, some uh, patchy rain drizzle will circulate around that. So quite a cloudy night. Uh, a few patches of rain around the place. Uh, into Wednesday morning, we see quite a cloudy start from many areas. And Ulster, especially North Ulster, could see some light rain at times. Into Wednesday itself, we see a day of sunshine and showers. These showers not as heavy as those on Tuesday because of the cooler air mass coming in from the west and northwest. Also, Ulster sees a cloudy day in general. Into um, Wednesday night and Thursday morning, we see a clearer night then as the low is moving away. Cooler air comes in from the northwest. Um, still low, some showers pushing into Ulster uh, and, also in, and also Scotland there. Now into uh, Thursday morning, we see quite a cloudy day in the east and a bright day in the west. You know, obviously we have a low to the east and the high to the west, so best in the west. But even but, but even so, by evening, all areas have decent sunshine. Now into Friday, we see some high cloud and um, medium cloud pushing in off the Atlantic Ocean. Um, really clouds at all altitudes coming in. Um, so Friday early on, at least, is quite cloudy and any sunshine Will, any, any sunshine will any, any sunshine that does break through will be hazy, especially there in the east. And uh, either way, by afternoon, the sun comes out everywhere, and it's quite a nice afternoon, lovely sunshine. Now Saturday morning starts a bit hazy as usual, like Friday, but even so, by afternoon we see cracking sunshine. So Friday and Saturday looking very nice. Um, for the turn of the month and season. So looking at our temperatures then, temperature forecast from the UKV is like this. So it's nice, it's, first lows will range from around, um, I'd say around 10 to 13 Celsius. So that's, that's a very mild night thanks to the warm front there. Into tomorrow, Tuesday, um, higher temperatures of around 15 to 20 Celsius. Um, almost in the east thanks to the westerly winds, and into Wednesday morning, lows of around 10 to 12, a, a, a tad cooler, a, a tad cooler than tonight, but still very, very mild, into Wednesday, highs of around 14 to 18 Celsius, so very mild in the south, but cooler in the north, into Thursday, it starts a bit cooler than, than, um, than um, Wednesday does, and into uh, Thursday afternoon, again, it's cooler again, so highs of around 13 to 17 degrees. Into Friday, we start off very um, okay-ish, just not, not too chilly, not too mild, lows of around 10 degrees. And into the afternoon, highs of around 14 to 19 degrees, or possibly 20 there in somewhere like Waterford into Saturday morning, it starts quite chilly, with clear skies, but, but, but again, by the afternoon, highs of around 14 in the north, 
thanks to the northerly winds. But, 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 um, in the south and Midlands, looking very decent, up to 20 Celsius there. Well, what do you think of that, guys? So, moving on to the, um, actually, I've got to do something. I'm going to get the NAO index up for you guys. There we go. No, 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 no. Typo, guys. Typo, typo. Let's do this. Um, okay, so that was funny, but never mind. So, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Um, either way, I've got it up now. I have. So we're seeing a negative NAO currently. So we're seeing a lot of low, a lot of low pressure in charge. As all sides pushed away, and uh, so on. But that bump in the um, index towards the turn of the month does show us that the Azor side is coming towards us in some way. So we are seeing a couple of drier and and um, brighter days at the end of the week. But look at that collapse into early June. Um, more on that in a bit. In fact, right now with the GFS 12Z run. So looking at this chart, we can, we can see that we got this low in charge today and tomorrow and Wednesday, uh, bringing in some rain, then showers, possibly heavy tomorrow and thundery but by Wednesday a bit lighter um, with a cooler air mass in play by Thursday we, we are looking cool and dry by Friday uh, we're going a bit it's still dry it's still quite cool but um, there's all size coming in and by the 1st of June it's going a bit warmer and dry as well very sunny very very sunny with a high end charge same probably for Sunday and Monday here now, into the um, first full week of June, we can see that the Azor side is sort of going to go into um, retrograde here and allow a northerly in. That's what we've been seeing recently. That northerly isn't too potent, but still quite remarkable for the summer. We don't often see that pattern. And um, in the end, the Azor side actually just for it forms a blocking towards Canada, and that just uh, allows low pressure to form right over us. Hence, that is what the negative NAO. That is what the um, negative NAO looks like, guys. Now into mid June. Uh, actually, now the Azor side comes back. So uh, close call there. Um, yes, and it goes warmer and drier beyond about June tenth. But this is uh, again long way off, and it could just be a one-off thing. Uh, here's the ECM uh, midnight run. So ECM midnight run tomorrow. Uh, Tuesday into Wednesday looks very um, westerly and uh, wet and sort of showery. Again, some downpours possible there in the east. Um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, as all side comes closer to us and over us by June 1st, looking dry and warm then. Uh, but by June 4th and 5th, it's going out to our west and down comes a potent northerly snap. Um, upper temperatures are really quite chilly. Right, moving on from that then, looking at the GEM. The GEM is like this. GEM again is westerly tomorrow and Wednesday, a lot of rain showers around. Thursday is uh, drier and quite cool. It's all side is starting to come in from the west. Now Friday, Saturday, the high comes over us and brings some warmer and dry weather. Although it's not as warm it's not as warm as it could be because the high is to our west and around that we bring the wind in from the north in some way. Well around from, really from the west, but uh, it's not the warmest air source. Um, into uh, the weekend, sort of Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, it actually stays warm and dry with this. Um, will it take it west? It won't. Either way, up until June 6th. But even by then, it's pushing it towards Iceland. And uh, some cooler air will come in around the high from, from that way, northeast. Um, but that is not nearly as dramatic as the GFS and ECM. So... Is that a trend? Is that a trend, guys? Because I feel like th that is unrealistic, guys. That's unrealistic. Um, as I said, never in my eight years of being in Ireland have I seen this happen in the summer months. Um, also, GFS, although not as extreme as the UCM, it's still not that usual. So um, I'd, I'd favour the GEM just based on how I know weather operates, saying um because it doesn't it often ends up not as dramatic as it is is as it is 
personally forecasted to be, just put it that way. Okay, here, sorry guys, here is the UK Met run. So UK Met again, here we go. Tomorrow has lo has low in charge and through into the end of the week as all side comes in and brings quite quite a nice weekend there. Okay, but the UK Met also wants to bring it to the west and uh, that low might drop in. Uh, here's the Icon run. Icon, again, Untitled tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, but by Friday is also is coming in and bringing uh, sunshine and light winds and quite warm weather. Uh, that stays into the weekend. Now, what's going to happen here? Well, it's different. What happens is that this low towards Greenland kind of splits the high at this point there. So we see a high going towards Scandinavia and a high towards Greenland and the, and the Atlantic Ocean. And we see this trough coming in this way. So that's also a um, more realistic way of going and set and quite cool. ECM, I think, is just totally uh, dramatic there. Uh, here is the arpege. Arpege tomorrow is set on showery. Some some heavy some some heavy dampers around. Um, I don't think I don't think that is enough to do a storm watch for. But I'll keep an eye on data tonight. And if I feel that storm risk kind of increases, I'll do one. But for now, I'm not doing one. Into Thursday and Friday as all side comes in. And uh, by 1st of June, the highest to our west. And uh, we are actually pretty much right under it at that point. So, yeah, pretty much so. And also cloud cover looks... I'd say that that's just high cloud, really. Um, but either way, by 1st of June, our approach has us under high pressure. Slap bang, slap bang, slap bang, under high pressure. So that's pretty good. Everyone, thanks for watching. I'll see you. I say tomorrow for either this video or probably a storm watch or something. And uh, but storm watch is is not guaranteed, and this is guaranteed. So thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye for now. There we go.